Hello, dear students of class 8. I'm here with you today at Amar Ghare Amar School. Welcome to today's English class. Hope you are doing great. Today we are going to discuss about Unit 5, Lesson 2 from English for Today book. You can see the title of today's lesson on the screen, Making Difference, Flashback. So, after the discussion of today's class, we will be able to number one, read and understand texts through silent reading, number two, infer from texts, three, find specific information from the texts, four, ask and answer questions, and five, write a short paragraph. So, before starting our reading of the text, let's see the situation and try to think about it. A situation of a newly married couple. Rumana and Rifat are a newly married couple. Both of them are university teachers. They took loan for the marriage function. After marriage, they planned to visit India together. But they didn't have much money. For this reason, they borrowed money from their close friends. After a few months, they shifted to a nice apartment furnished with modern amenities. Then they faced financial crisis as the monthly cost went up. Besides, they failed to repay bank loan and could not return the borrowed money to their close friends. They ultimately fell in great trouble. Which of the following statements are true for this situation? Option A. Rumana and Rifat are not planned in the life. Rumana and Rifat are aware of their loans. Rumana and Rifat hardly think before doing anything. Now, Think and share your opinions. I think you will agree with me that option A and C are true according to the situation. But option B is not correct. Exactly. Option A is true. And option C is true. But option B is not true, so you can write here, it is false. Was the logic behind them? So let's find the logic. First of all, option A is correct because if Rumana and Rifat were planned in their life, they would not fall to these troubles and would repay the bank loan before taking another loan from their friends. Now option B, it is not correct because they are not truly aware of their loan. Keeping behind the load of the loan, they shifted to a modern house which cost more. Very poor decision indeed. Option C is correct because it is true that both of them never think before doing anything. If they did so, they would never go for any plan which would make their life more expensive, isn't it? Yes. Dear students, the way we find the underlying meaning of the activities of Rumana and Rifat is like looking for some implicit or hidden information from the lines. This is known as inferencing. And undoubtedly, it is an important skill. So, it is known as inferencing. It is really an important skill. Now, let's start reading our text. Shamima started to tell us her story. 
Listening to her, we were stunned and at the same time our hearts were filled with admiration for her. It was 1995. Shamima was 15 years old. She got promoted to class 8. Shamima had all the dreams of an adolescent. She wanted to bring about a change in her life. She wanted to see happiness in a family too. She knew she could fulfill her dream by completing her education and getting a good job. 15-year-old Shamima's dreams were nipped in the bud. Her father wanted to marry her off against her will. Marrying off a girl under 18 is against the law in Bangladesh. Shamima did not want to get married, but nobody paid any heed to her. They arranged her marriage with a man much older than her. All her tears and protests went in vain. Shamima was married off to Kamaluddin Jawardar. Now, from your reading of the text, choose the best answer. Shamima's story dash everyone. Option A, fascinated. Option B, astonished. Option C, shocked. And option D, worried. Think about it. What will be the right answer? Yes, the answer will be shocked. Shamima's story shocked everyone. Question 2. Shamima thought about the welfare of her. Option A. Family. Option B. Friends. Option C. Cousins. And option D. Neighbors. I think you have already got the answer. Yes. The answer will be A. Family. Third question. Shamima didn't want to get married because she wanted to complete her education, but nobody does her. Option A. Talk to. Option B. Listen to. Option C. Took care of. And option D. Looked after. So what will be the answer? Yes. Very easy. The answer will be B. Nobody listened to her. Yes, B. Now read the text again and answer the following question. Shamima started to tell us her story. Listening to her, we were stunned and at the same time our hearts were filled with admiration for her. It was 1995. Shamima was 15 years old. She got promoted to class 8. Shamima had all the dreams of an adolescent. She wanted to bring about a change in her life. She wanted to see happiness in her family too. She knew she could fulfill her dream by completing her education and getting a good job. 15-year-old Shamima's dreams were nipped in the bud. Her father wanted to marry her off against her will. Marrying off a girl under 18 is against the law in Bangladesh. Shamima did not want to get married, but nobody paid any heed to her. They arranged her marriage with a man much older than her. All her tears and protests went in vain. Shamima was married off to Kamaluddin Jordar. Yes, we have completed the reading for the second time. Now, we need to answer the question. Question 1. How long ago did Shamima begin to tell her story? Yes. Think about it. Okay, got the answer. Now match your answer with me. Shamima began to tell her story when she was 15 years old. It was in 1995 when the story took place in her life. Question 2. What did Shamima dream of? Very easy answer. I think you already got it. Yes. 
answer will be Shamima dreamed to bring a positive change in her life. She dreamed to bring happiness for her family too after completing her education. Now see the next question. Did Shamima's dream come true? What happened? The answer will be Shamima's dream did not come true. Her dreams were shattered as soon as she was married at the age of 15 to a much older man. Question 4. How old is Shamima now? The answer will be she is 40 years old now. Question 5. As an adolescent, what are your dream? Answer will be as an adolescent, my dream is to become a teacher. I want to change the society by educating the youths. Next practice. We need to write about a person who has suffered or struggled like Shamima. We need to use the following phrases. Pay hit to, nip in the butt, in vain. I think you have guessed the meaning of the phrases yes if you pay heed to someone's opinion or something it means you give attention to them and consider carefully what they say and if you say something nipped in the bud it means you halt or destroy something at an early age and if you do something in vain, it means you do not succeed in achieving what you intend. So I think all phrases are clear to you. Now, follow a sample writing about someone who has suffered or struggled like Shamima. Remember, after following my writing, you need to write on your own. Roby is now a successful businessman. But his life was not smooth after his birth. When he was 13 years old, his mother got married to another man and his father left Roby alone in Dhaka. He started a life on the street. Though he was 13 years old for undernourishment, he seemed smaller than 10 years old. As he lost his family, he started looking after himself. From streets, he collected trashes and wastages from the beans and sold them to vendors. As he was a street boy, none paid heed to him. But Roby had a dream to do something bigger. He walked since morning till evening and at night he started studying. His endeavor did not go in vain. He completed HSC and soon, with much effort, he got a job as a machine operator in a paper factory. He worked sincerely and the owner loved him as well. His spirit nipped in the bud when the owner of the factory died suddenly. But he didn't stop and dreamed to make his own factory. Finally, his experience and courage raised him to a position. He has owned a factory and runs well. He has a family now, a wife, two sons. He is happy with business and family. I hope now you will try yourself to write about someone who has suffered and struggled like Shamima using the phrases mentioned above. Now let's recap what we have learned so far. We have learned about number one, reading and understanding texts through silent reading. Number two, inferencing from texts. Number three, finding specific information from texts. Number four, asking and answering questions. And number five, writing a short paragraph. So, thank you very much. Follow Facebook and YouTube to see the class again. Follow the instructions of government and stay safe. Thank you again from Amar Khare Amar School. Goodbye.